Welcome to the General Priva Compass Training Module. This training covers the explanation of periods and times. Values used in this training are not intended as advices, but as illustrations. The learning objective of this training is to be familiarized with how to set and use periods and times in different ways, and to learn how period transitions work. This is the agenda for this training, periods, time settings, and period transitions. Let's start with periods. Periods are used to have different set points during 24 hours, in order to create the desired strategy for the development of the crop. For example, each period could have a different set point for the heating and the cooling temperatures. Within a climate zone one period strategy is used. A zone can be a compartment within the greenhouse. A period strategy is how a day is divided into different periods. So within a zone the period strategy is the same for heating temperatures and cooling temperatures, as well as for humidity control, mixing valve control, and vent control. However, it is possible to have a different period strategy for each climate zone. Via zones, climate strategy, settings, can be selected how many periods will be used. In general in the Priva Compass it is possible to divide the 24 hours in a maximum of four different climate periods. For irrigation it is possible to divide the 24 hours in a maximum of six periods. So different period strategies can be used for climate, irrigation and energy. This is an example of a period strategy with one period. One period can be used if one set point is desired during 24 hours. For one period set use period, to yes. This is an example with two periods. The 24 hours are divided in a day period with a higher set point and a night period with a lower set point. For two periods set use period, to yes. This is an example with three periods. For example, three periods can be used for different set points for day, pre-night, and night. For three periods set use period, to yes. Similarly, up to four periods for climate and up to six periods for irrigation can be set. The names of the periods are by default, period 1, period 2, and so on. However, you can change the names, for example to night, day, and pre-night. The next subject of this training is time settings. For example a grower has set four periods. In most strategies the start time of the period is also the end time of the previous period. Note, the time settings for curtains, CO2, cooling stages, and timers work differently. The start time of a period can be set as a fixed time, or a time that adjusts for the seasons depending on sunrise, or sunset. The start time of periods can be set in the tab settings of a strategy. For example via zones, climate strategy, settings. In this example, using a fixed time, dash, period 2 starts at 7 o'clock. If the sun rises earlier period 2 still starts at 7 o'clock. The start times can also be related to sunrise, or sunset. In general, periods with start times relative to sunrise are at the beginning of the day, and periods with start times relative to sunset are at the end of the day. The current sunrise and sunset times can be found via the settings menu. These calculations are based on the sun being entirely visible on the horizon. If they are incorrect by more than a few minutes, Verify that the longitude, latitude values, and time zone values are correct. If the sun rises at 6 o'clock and the start time of period 2 is set at 7 o'clock, period 2 starts 1 hour after sunrise. 
The next day the sun rises 2 minutes earlier, at 5.58. Period 2 still starts 1 hour after sunrise, so period 2 starts at 6.58. And so on. The last subject of this training is period transitions. A sudden change in a setting from a lower to a higher set point, or from a higher to a lower set point can result in a too sudden climate change. Generally, a smooth transition between the settings from the previous period to the settings of the current period is desired. For this purpose the period ramp time can be used. This setting ensures that the new set point is reached gradually, which results in a less abrupt change in the greenhouse climate. The period ramp time is the time to switch from settings from the previous period to the settings of the current period. For example, a setting of 30 minutes will adjust the greenhouse temperature to the set temperature of the current period in 30 minutes. This setting can be found in the tab settings of a strategy. For example, see zones, climate strategy, settings. Note. In some cases, a period transition such as cooling down is preferred as fast as possible. In that case a short period ramp time can be set. Depending on the type of cultivation, you should set your own period start times and period ramp time. Through these learning questions you can explore more about the principles and functionalities of the general settings concerning periods. Watching that video. Anyway, let's have a look at these questions and, and uh, see if we can kind of answer them together. Together I mean by me answering them and you following along. Anyway. Let's have a look at how many time periods there are in, uh, in this graph. <clears throat> um, so if we have a look here, so this graph is, uh, is a full day, right? Midnight to midnight. Uh, and we have sunrise with the arrow pointing up. We have sunset with the arrow pointing down. Okay, uh, we have first time period here uh, from just before midnight until 6 a.m. So that's one time period right there. And our second time period is throughout the day, right? Um, from 6 a.m. until, what is that? Like, there's 6 p.m., 7 p.m., sure. Uh, and then uh, we have our third time period, uh, which is uh, a dip right in the evening from seven until nine, two hours, I don't know, sure. And then we go back up to period A. Okay, so this is back to our first period. How do I know that? Well, it's on the same level as that. And if we look at the time periods, um, it kind of overlaps with the next day. Uh, and this was over the previous day. So that time period is the same as this time period. So I see three time periods within this graph. So my answer here is three. Let's go next. It is possible to make one set of periods for heating and a different set of periods for cooling. No. You, your heating and cooling will come within the same period. It is one it's possible to make one set of periods for heating and a different set for mixing valves. Well, your heating temperatures and mixing valve temperatures kind of coincide. Um, in order to keep your temperatures consistent, we need to keep your mixing valves consistent. So they need to be on the same period. It is possible to make one set of periods for heating temperatures and a different set for boilers. Well, yes, that one is true, right? Um, you can run your boilers warmer throughout the evening and cooler throughout the day, uh, and your mixing valves um, will be running on the same time period as your heating temperatures. It is possible to make a different set of periods for each climate zone. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to use three periods, which options 
are possible. Use period one, two, and three. Absolutely. Use period one, two, and four. Hey, why not? Use period one, three, and four. Yep. Use only period one. Well, that's only one period. Next. You are allowed to set the start time of period three before the start time of, the, of period two. Yes, they don't have to be uh, in sequence, chronological. How could the start time of period A, or I'm sorry, of A period be set relative to sunrise? Remember those arrows, right? Sunrise is the arrow pointing up. A sudden change in a setting from a lower to higher set point might be undesired. Choose one correct answer in the drop-down list. To prevent sudden changes of temperature in the greenhouse, I think this is going to be a ramp time. Ramp time. Okay, for which purpose purposes the period of ramp time can be used? A transition when using influences. Yes. Okay, so if you're influencing um, pipe temperatures or uh, lights within a, a greenhouse zone, these can be ramped up. Uh, transition when using when new set point. No, manually. No, that's that's wrong. Uh, a transition to reach new set points. Hmm. I'm going to say no because that, go, does it, that doesn't react to anything specifically. New set points to what? Uh, so I'm going to say that's not right. It's kind of ambiguous. Um, I'm going to take a guess and say no, that's wrong. Okay, drag the correct part and drop it to the appropriate place. Using periods, the setting period of ramp time starts the beginning of the period. That's what you said, I know it. Uh, information. Two periods are used. Period one, start time 7.30, temperature equals 17 degrees. Period ramp time is 30 minutes. The calculated temperature is equal to 17 between, uh, so 7.30 plus 30, and there's no ramp time on this guy, so it's 18. Right, and then 18 to 730 will be 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, well, we have a little bit of a, a chart. At what time is the calculated cooling temperature in period one equal to 21 degrees Celsius? Period one, eight o'clock, Plus two hours is 10. Uh, what time is the cooling temperature in period three equal to 17? So period three starts at 1900 plus an hour and a half, which is 20, 30. Next. Oh, we finished. Let's have a look. Cross fingers. Let's hope we got them all right. 92%? What did I get wrong? We got something wrong. Let's review. Got that one right. Yep. Okay. Okay. Got it right. Good. We're looking good so far. Oh. Yeah, see, I should have went with my gut instinct and, tried to, and chose that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, we got them all right except for that one. Anyway, we're all not perfect. 